What's up, everybody? It is the Big Game Hunter here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Frog. Whatever. Uh, welcome back to more Let's Play Frog the Great Quest. In the last episode, oh. the me. In the last episode, we got through the goblin for for oh. it with its epic theme, and we also went through the goblin. Uh, the taste by steel. Shut up. We got through the goblin. The goblin pass. That's what. Oh. I, that's yeah. Whatever. Goblin Pass, Goblin Fort, epic theme for the Goblin Fort, not as much for the Goblin Pass. Would you shut up before I come over there and beat the living hell out of ya? Um, do you say anything? Wow, this guy's... Wow, this guy seems relatively at ease for a giant bipedal, bipedal frog that's talking to him, trying to talk to him in modern clothing, where it seems we are in the world of Camelot. Let's have at him! Wide load coming through! I'll say. Yes. Uh, relatively pointless cutscenes basically telling us the goblins are attacking the, peop the people of the castle. You can actually, believe it or not, you can actually fight these goblins. You can actually, I've managed to kill one of them before. Uh, although it's relatively pointless. They, there's nothing really there. They don't give any exposition or anything. Uh, Fats over there is just waddling his way back. over there. He won't shut up. And, well, other stuff. Um, I will say, I do like uh, the theme for Joy Castle because it does feel very dramatic. And, well, it's going to take him about a year to get over there. Yes, we know, you're a white load. It's a beast fat, alright? So, let's continue on. Because, guess what? We're almost done with the game! This nightmare is almost over! Just two more levels and... Goblins in the kitchen. That actually sounds like a children's book. I thought... I'll tell you, but I'll say no way. Stop you! What now? Alright, so both of you are dead, and we got the key. Find the key, find the key, where's the beautiful key? You can find your key in the mausoleum. I don't know why I'm quoting that movie, I hate it. A lot of people are probably gonna ba bash on me, but... Well, those who actually like that movie. But, yeah. I don't like the Haunted Mansion. Not, never did, never planning to. Wow, Frogger has got some feet of steel if he's able to walk on hot coals. But, can he not get to me in here? All right, have at thee! Yikes. I'm standing on lit. Oh no, they're not lit. But I'm actually st I'm standing on a candlestick. Apparently, Frogger is about as light as a feather. Physics? What the hell is that? Uh, checkpoint, G good enough, I guess. I do believe we run into another type of goblin in the castle. What do you want? Ow! And I gotta say, this is a strange turn for the game. I mean, I, this game has been weird, and the Frogger games have been known to add some weird things to them. After all, check out... Wow, you are the worst soldier... Okay, never mind. Way to make what I was about to say false! About you not be able to hit me, even though I was clearly sitting on a throne. But as I was... As I was saying... This is a weird turn for the game. We went from relatively stuff, just going through a swamp, a haunted forest, I can understand, all that stuff. But yet, we went from a game about, a plot about a frog, just game from point A to point B, to a freaking Elder Scrolls game. We got goblins attacking humans, something is not right here. Apparently, we frogger jumped dimensions and went into a completely different game. Don't ask me why. This game is just weird like that. I believe that the the knights that we saw out there, I believe those are the only two knights in the entire game. You don't see any more, even though most of the game has been known to have sprites from. Unless I'm not looking hard enough and they're actually hidden. And whoa! Jeez, how can something that big run that fast? What the heck are you saying? Um, 
Huh, new goblin type archers. Very, very easy to take down. See, brought them down with ease, although they're the only goblins that can attack you with ranged weapons, so. Double edged so sword, I guess. They're very weak, yet they can still hit you from a distance. What the? What the? Am I stuck? Is the game working for the goblins now? Alright, you know what? Screw it. I'm running. Alright. You know what? Magic gem. In the door. In the door. Get in the door. Get in the door. Door's locked. Aha. I found the ones... The... Yeah! Man, you guys are ugly up close. Locked. Ooh, nice gem. Ah, now we have one of each element. Alright, so I believe that that exits this way. Key? 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 Why is there a key? I don't remember there being a key. Empty and pointless? Goblin guard. About to die! Run like hell! Bug, 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 bug. I need a bug. I need a bug. Where's a bug? I need a bug. Where is a bug? Hello? Bugs? Are there any bugs in here? There's a chest. Is there a bug? The chest is locked. Is there bugs in here? I need bugs. Bug, 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 bug. <laughs> wow, what the heck was that? What's that like, name? Like a horse. I'm like, <laughs> Ugh, this game. Uh, bugs. I need a bug. Are you locked too? Yes, you are. Bugs! Bug! Th thank you. Any more bugs? I need bugs. I need some more bugs. Bug, 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 bug. It's bugging me that I can't find a bug. This game bugs me. This game is also very buggy. I don't know. I'm just trying to s say stuff. Um, ooh, bug. Ninja goblins? Yikes. Are you? Yeah! <laughs> What's with me neighing all of a sudden? Gotcha. I'm gonna die. 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 We're gonna try no death run, even though it's probably gonna be impossible. We're counting on the final boss of this game, because he's actually a very cheap boss. Don't care. Goblins running rampant throughout this entire castle. And I died. Don't make me mad. And now I'm back. Yeah, see, death really doesn't provide challenge. Nothing's reset. Although, thankfully, the game doesn't load itself. Like, go through a loading screen when you die. So, that's a plus side for it. But yet... And the fact that everything stays where it is also proven effective. You know how to use strategically use it correctly. Then again, it's this game. Nothing about this game is correct. Except for the music. And the door is still locked. The door is open, but I have a swarm of goblins behind me. I need to get out of here. I believe the door I need is right over here. No? That's all. It's locked too. Where am I supposed to go? I know. I know I'm prolonging this because I'm really... I honestly don't know where I'm supposed to go. The door I went through is locked. There's only one locked door in this game. I already got a key. Is a key for a chest? It's so, where's the chest? Then what happened to one of the goblins? Oh, there they are. You're not so tough. And will Fonker ever shut the hell up whenever he gets hurt? Probably not. Locked. Bug. Opened. There was... Yeah, there was a fire gem in there. Am I missing something? Am I stuck in purgatory? I'm forever... condemned to wander the halls of this empty castle with no guards except for the two that are fighting outside that are probably dead right now. Nah, actually, they're wearing full body armor. The goblins are the ones that are probably dead. If so, why aren't they in here helping me? Got stuck on the door. I wonder, do I have to kill the goblins? I swear, if I have to 
kill the goblins. S is gonna be so stupid. I burned him by throwing the gem on him. That's pretty awesome. I didn't know you could kill him that easy. Should have used fire earlier. I could have killed him with fire. Alright. So where's the rest of them? Where are you? Mr. Goblin! No. No, 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 no! The game froze up on me, people. The game froze up. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. My game really, this game really loves to troll me for some reason, because it, apparently it's like, hey, you know what? You're close to the end of the game. You've been working your butt off throughout the entire thing. Let me just freeze you right where you are. I hate this game. Uh, um, I took the liberty while uh, tracing my steps back. I uh, went back, killed all the goblins on this floor. I also did a bit of more collecting because I had to restart the whole level all over again. So my coin count may be different than what you might expect from the beginning of this video. But we're almost done with here, and that's a good thing. Because that means we're almost done with the game because there's only one level left to, after this, and we are done forever. And ah! What was that that just flew over my head? There it is again. Wow, render distance. You suck. Is that a goblin flying on a... On a... a hang glider? With it being stuck in the middle of the air? And now it chooses to be unstuck. Make up your mind! Is there anything over here? No. I do know. Is there an archer over here? Yes, there is. Come on. Come on. You can die for me. You can die. Come on. Die. You can die any time now. Thank you. Alright, sorry about that. I was caught away yet again. Hopefully there won't be any more distractions, because I want to get over this. Apparently everything and its grandmother is making sure I don't finish this. What now? What now? Oh, come on, you're frozen. No, 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 you do not do that, goblin. You don't do this game. You don't have someone being frozen, but decide to say, hey, let's just keep on moving. You are so pathetic that I killed you by spitting on you. And there's the exit. Ominous. Ah, uh, 220, 2280. Not a bad score if I ever cared for it. Um, oh! This is a character that's actually important, I want to make notice. We'll get this, get this, and all. We can actually get all three of them. That's a rarity! Alright, let's view a collection, because I didn't view last video's collection. I'm sorry about that. Man, we've come a long way in the concept art. Alright, so let's see. King Lijnik. Or Ijnik, or whatever. The Goblin King. The Stone Goblin King Lijnik, whatever, is the Goblin Clan leader who is generally grumpy, extremely greedy. He disliked all. He's disliked by all the goblins who fear him for his terrible temper. King, oh, he's feared. No, he's. No. Every goblin he rules hates him. Uh, it has his own problems, such as being bullied by the Goblin Mama. What? What? Sorry, that that line alone j is worthy of of a uh, catchphrase. Bye, Gruntilda. You've gotten big over the years. Uh, oh, this is the witch from the castle. We're just now getting her concept art. She was completely pointless, and actually, to tell you the truth, there was a cut level from the game that took place inside her, um, in her lair. But for some reason, they were cut from her. It's part of the computer version of the game. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't care. 
Sir Ian, the Little Knight, who we do not see in this game at all, unless I am missing something. Uh, found leading the knights in front into the battle, so... How would we know if he speaks with a childlike voice if we don't even see him? Developers are lazy. This guy. This guy, right here. It looks sort of like a mechanical version of Harry Knowles. Actually, it kind of does. Uh, the mystical general of light and industry. That's a weird name. Sort of, sounds sort of like a sanctuary from Rayman. You know, like the sanctuary of rock and fire, or lava and stone, or water and ice. No, light and industry. But anyways, he's the guy who's been behind everything. I love how the game. You know what? They don't get. They don't care anymore. They're, this is the guy who's been, been behind everything. The Goblin Wars. Uh, the world being so messed up, everything. He drove the goblin clans to ransack pillage towns, villages around Drocasa. He's putting the he put the mad scientists in his quest to build monsters. He's the one who's been in charge of the Doctor Stark inside. He's the one. He's the reason we got captured. He was the one who, for the creation of that giant robotic chicken. He has been driven to conquer the forces of Joy Castle and capture the princess in order to make himself king. I don't know how capturing the princess makes himself king. Don't know, don't care. Joy Castle itself. Looks something like from a Spyro game. Why am I referencing much better games than this? I don't know. Guess my lack of playing through games that are. lack of let's playing games that are much better than this is designed to get the best of me. I honestly don't know, and I honestly don't care, but whatever. Anyways, I believe that's gonna do it for this part. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I know this is probably from the cut I had to make, so, you know what, we'll continue on a little bit. And then we'll cut, end it. Yeah, might as well save it right here. Go save five, just to, because I want to be absolutely sure nothing goes wrong. And I have to replay the whole thing again! The Towers of Joy Castle. And if you thought Joy Castle's music was overly dramatic, wait till you hear the Towers version of it. Loading. Start! Alright, so here we are, the final level, the Towers of Joy Castle. Almost done! The nightmare will soon end! Now, I will say, this is probably my second favorite theme in the game. First one, of course, being the Goblin Forge, because it sounds like a certain... another theme from a much better game series than this. But also, I like this one just because of the dramatic. I mean, you're uh, risking your neck to stop the war going on. Ah! <laughs> Oh, these guys! These guys are pretty much like your ultimate enemies. Given to you, at the very end of the game, these guys are very tough. They fight, I think they do as much damage as the giant goblins, but they're also fast like the little ones, so... Yeah, these guys are quite deadly, so we're gonna avoid them. You can kill these guys, if you're wondering, but these guys will do so much damage to you, by the time you have them dead, you'll be on the verge of death, as you know it. I really don't want to do re replays of just having to fight my way back up here from the last checkpoint. So I'm gonna avoid these guys as much as I can. Don't care about you. Probably shouldn't have gone out the window. I died. Of course. Great. Uh, dizzy. Alright. Let's try and get off to the next tower, and then I think that'll will be a good place to end things off. And if I can even go upstairs, Frogger's apparently too... Um... Frogger's too stupid, or his controls are so bad that he can't go up a flight of planks. Not even stairs! Stairs! I'm actually double nervous nervous right now, because that, that big guy is up there. I have no idea what the Is he stuck? Okay, fine, I guess we get to do kill one of these guys. Come on, come on, you can die for me, come on, come on, that's a good boy, that's a good boy, you go and die. 
right. I was trying not to be faked out. I mean, towers are able to fake you out with the holes, because we do actually have to jump out some holes. No comment. But, yeah, nothing we have to say. This is the final level of the game. We're almost done with this nightmare. The pain, it'll soon be gone. And also, we get to run... Also, by the end of the tower section, you fell right through a wall. Lazy! As I was saying, ninja goblins are annoying. That's not what I've been saying. What I'm saying is, we're about to run into a huge, 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 huge plot hole in this game as soon as we finish here. Hello, Mr. Goblin. Alright. Come on, where's the next tower? Ah, there's the next tower. Flutter boy! Fly! Fly! fly, 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 fly. Oh, thank goodness! I did not want to go through all that all over again. Alright. Jump! Climb, boy, climb! Almost done! And... la. Still don't understand how your croakers... So my official name for it allows you to fly. Let's just kill these goblins and then I think that's a good place to end things off. Come on, you can die. You can die for me. Come on, come on. Come on, die. Die. That's a good boy. Come on, you can die. Come on. There we go. That's a good little goblin. You go and die. Alright. So, with that said and done, hopefully the game won't freeze up on me again, but now that I've said that, it's probably going to freeze up me just as I finish the game. Next time on Let's Play Frogger the Great Quest, we will continue on through the Towers of Joy Castle in hopes of finally ending this madness. See you guys next time. Later. Alright, leave you off with an epic face.